Hi guys, welcome back to another gun sexual video and today we will discuss the Magda Gemitus Vulcan, the Zora Master Rank Heavy Bow Gun. Now the mods we will be using are two recoil suppressor and two reload assist and one shield mod. Those mods will give you a shield and make your status ammos, stickies and clusters have decent recoil and reload speed. The best thing that sets this HBG apart from the other cluster sticky HBGs are the status ammos and the huge clip size on cluster 3. The gun will be augmented for one level of attack and one health augment for survivability. The custom mods will be all on improving roll. Also be mindful that the sticky 3s here are not on auto reload and are at recoil plus 3 and slow reload. Although in my opinion I actually have an easier time in timing when the shield is usable after recoil plus 3 as compared to auto reload stickies. Let's move on to the builds. I made two builds. One has true spare shot and the other has artillery 5 and all are just other build variations of each. So let's start with the true spare shot builds. This is the cheap version for a shield sticky cluster build. It has guard 5 and guard up. Don't mind having artillery 3 and don't worry about the sticky cap. True spare shot will actually save you from the damage loss. Make use of your status ammos and stickies to properly set the monster up for receiving your cluster 3s. The expensive version of the set will give you offensive guard level 1 and additional 1 attack. Switching from cluster 3 to sticky 3 or firing sticky 3 after guarding from an attack from the monster usually gives me the offensive guard proc. But yeah, the expensive version is not so distant from the cheap version of the build so that's a good thing. And if ever you want to go with more DPS, here's a shieldless build. With this, you should be more wary of how you change statuses and also set up traps so you get the job done. Make sure to change the shield mod to close range mod to give a slight damage boost to your wyvern ammo. Now let's tackle the artillery 5 builds. For the cheap version of the artillery 5 build with shield, you're going to be short one level of attack from reaching the cap of your stickies. Given that you will eat for bombardier and also buff seed, powder, and mega demon drug, but it's alright. Having cluster 3s, wyvern ammo, and also status ammos make up for it. Now for the expensive build, you'll reach the cap of your stickies, but in my opinion, it's not much of a damage difference anyway. Now for the shieldless artillery 5 build, we will go with attack 7, peak, and agitator. I know you might be thinking, that's a little bit overkill for the sticky, right? I know it is, but I placed them in the build to buff up our cluster damage even further. Another important thing in going for cluster sticky CC game style would be setting up your loadout. Make sure you have the ingredients for crafting cluster 1, sticky 1s, and cluster 3 and sticky 3s, meaning blast nuts and bomb berries. Farcaster is important as well if you need to restock. Make sure your status ammos are in the loadout too, such as paralysis 2, sleep 2, poison 2, and exhaust as well. As you can see, there's a difference as to how I craft for my clusters and stickies. For stickies, I craft them one by one and for clusters, I craft all. Going for craft all for stickies has a chance of you wasting one blast nut or sticky one. I just don't want to take that risk, so I go with one by one. FYI, to make craft all worth it, you should always craft when your ammo is an odd number. For clusters, it doesn't matter. And of course, guys, don't forget to uh, change your radial menu settings. Don't go for type 1. It won't work. You have to go for type 2 and just press on R3 when you're crafting. Your thumbs are going to do the work. Here, I'll just give an example of how to chain CC. Usually, it only takes 2 to 3 stickies to KO a monster the first time. So you can get your cluster 3 ready even before the monster gets KO. Now the second KO needs more than 2-3 stickies, but another trick to do easily to build them up is through paralysis. While the monster is paralyzed, it doesn't matter how many stickies you land. The monster will finish the whole duration of paralysis before getting knocked out. Now another trick I can show you is doing a wyvern ammo sleep shot. This is trying to sneak in one wyvern ammo before the sleep animation ends. This would require you to pay close attention when the monster starts the sleep animation and also be ready to switch to your wyvern ammo. Now the number of sleep ammo 2 needed to sleep a monster varies from monster to monster so watch out for that. 
Of course, it would be hard to proc the same status again in the same hunt, so time them wisely. Time them when your rock steady runs out, or when your trap runs out, or when there's a boulder nearby. Be creative, since we can't do the old rock steady and health booster style no more. It helps a lot as well if you arrange your ammo sequence. To do this, just go to your item pouch and press triangle, and you'll be able to arrange them in accordance to your game plan. Last, let's discuss Palico gadgets. If you have a game plan that's flawless, uh, chaining traps and status ammos, then I suggest using the Miolotov Palico gadget. But if you're just going on the bunga, then the shield, the shield spire is your best bet. I actually prefer the true spare shot sets because from experience, I'm getting amazing procs from my clusters. But if you want to focus more on stickies, just go with Artillery 5. Thank you so much for watching. If the videos helped you, please drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. See you guys in the next video.